Valve boxes are an important part of any subsurface irrigation system. They protect our manifold and valves from foot traffic, vehicle traffic, and the elements. And their brightly colored lids make them easy to locate when it's time to provide service or maintenance. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly install a valve box. The very first step is to choose a box that is big enough for your valves. We're going to install a manifold that consists of two solenoid valves, and we're going to use a box that is 17 inches long and 12 inches wide. Now, we are going to use a box that's a little bit larger than what we need. This is important, and we'll touch on that again later. The valve box we're going to install is about 12 and a half inches tall. However, if you're in a cold northern climate and you need to bury yours deeper, a 12 and a half inch tall box isn't going to do it. In a case like that, you can use a valve box extension. We'll dive into that a bit more here in just a little bit. An invaluable tip here is to use a valve box that is larger than what you actually need. Yes, you may pay slightly more, but it will save you a lot of headache later on. A larger valve box is much easier to work in than one that's crammed with valves, wires, and pipe. It is a 100% certainty that you'll be doing maintenance work inside the valve box at some point in the future. So going with a larger size now will not be in vain. The next step is to dig the hole where you want your components to be placed. A quick tip here is to dig the hole larger than what you need and dig it at a high point. It's very hard to work in a flooded valve box and digging it at a high point will help with drainage. Dig the hole larger than it needs to be, larger than your valve box, both length, width, and depth. And that's for an important reason. This is because shortly after digging the hole, you want to put about six inches of gravel inside. The gravel is designed to provide an even surface for the valve box and drainage when water gets inside, something that is very likely to occur. The gravel also helps prevent the valve box from sinking. A valve box that sinks too far will apply tension and weight on the pipe and or the manifold, which can cause damage. When gravel is not used, we've also seen pavers and bricks, as mentioned previously, used as well. They provide a pretty nice, even surface for a valve box. Some people with clay soil like to simply pack the soil tight so that the valve box won't sink and can rest on that. But I don't recommend this method. It does not provide any way for drainage to occur, and the valve box could then easily fill with water. With our gravel down, we're ready to put our manifold in place. If you're interested in learning more about how to assemble a manifold, check out our step-by-step -step guide there in the top right or in the description below. After you've got the valve box in place, you can backfill a little bit more to raise the level of the gravel up to meet the lip of the box. The idea is to backfill enough that you give your valve box a nice sturdy foundation upon which to rest. After you place the box, you can add a bit more gravel to bring the level of the gravel up to the bottom of the box. This is particularly important if you expect any foot traffic in the area. Okay, with our box in place, it's time to do the backfill. This consists of simply putting dirt or your preferred medium in the hole until it is filled and the valve box lid is flush with the grating. And there we are. Recall I mentioned getting a larger valve box than what you needed for the valves. As you can see, we have plenty of room in here to service and maintenance our manifold and valves. If we wanted to add more zones, it would be highly recommended to size up to the next larger valve box or add a separate additional valve box next to the first. As I mentioned previously, valve boxes are also often used to protect and provide access to other components in an irrigation system. In this small round valve box, for example, you see we have a simple manual on-off ball valve. The valve box not only protects it from the elements, particularly direct sunlight being PVC, but also provides easy access to the ball valve when we want to turn off the downstream portion of our system. Now, here's what to do if you need to use a valve box extension. To use a valve box extension, you simply stack it on top of the original box. First, remove the lid from the original box, then put on the extension and use its lid. Now you've extended it by 6 to 12 inches, depending on the size of your extension box. In addition to valve box extensions, some people use a support like bricks, pavers, or even some wood. Put it at the bottom of the hole, and you place your valve box on it, and that will effectively extend it. If you'd like to learn more about subsurface irrigation systems and the parts and methods you can use to make them significantly easier to install, check out our video on PVC lock and PVC fittings right there. If you're ready to dive right in, our selection of valve boxes can be found right here. We have both round and rectangular valve boxes.